It is an inspiration because Violet Bidwell was certainly a pioneer, but may never have imagined a future as remarkable with contributions and achievements of women to the NFL and the game of football that we benefit from today. growing up in St. Louis, hearing about Violet and what a dynamic leader she was. Violet was truly a remarkable woman and went through a remarkably painful place in her life. She lost her husband at a very early age. The passing of Charles Bidwell was really devastating to the players. Maybe it's usual, maybe it's unusual, but they love the guy. He was very fair to them. When you hear the stories from the Cardinals I was able to talk to over the years, the respect they had for him. There were several newspapers in Chicago, and from researching all of those papers, it was pretty clear to me that he was still the front page of the newspapers back then, that poor Charlie couldn't be here. He put this team together, and he did, and especially his pursuit of Charlie Trippy early in the year, that all the pieces were finally in place for him to recognize and win the National Football League Championship and he wasn't there. She's got to pick up the pieces and she did right away and went to running the businesses including the Cardinals. A month after Charles passed away, she was at the meeting with the local racetrack operators. They named her treasurer of the organization and a member of the board of directors. And so she didn't sit around. Uh, she was quite unique, became involved, and it wasn't easy either. It was sort of a tough time in the country uh, when she took over the team. It was just a couple of years after World War II had ended. People were coming home. The economy was, you know, still recovering. I recall a column from, I think, a newspaper in Indiana, which predicted the Cardinals would be sold fairly quickly because, in quotes, the NFL is no place for a woman, unquote. And I, things have changed, but that's what she was up against. She was a great business leader. She was shrewd. She was tough. She could hold her own. This is at a time when the National Football League wasn't predominantly male. It was exclusively male, except for Violet. She would negotiate with the other owners. She would negotiate with players. She became involved in the day-to-day -day business. She attended training camps for the team and made sure she knew what was going on. And even with the draft choices and the, and the signing of coaches, I'm going back to 1950 now when they were looking for a coach and Ray Benningson said, well, he's got some ideas, but Violet didn't really think that person would work. So we're gonna go back together and decide who will be the next coach for the Cardinals. She didn't suffer fools. She, she worked really hard at what she did and she didn't get pushed around and she had an elegance about her. She was, uh, of course, pretty visible in the city of Chicago with her social activity and her charitable work as well. As I understand, just an outstanding dresser. She took great pride in her fashion and she was really on the cutting edge of that as well. She was an elegant woman, a bit shy, loved to dress well, loved to wear her minks to the league meetings, but did not back away from anyone. You talk about the NFL being a mom and pop business. It was truly like a mom and pop store. My father and my uncle were doing every job in the, uh, in the organization when they worked for the team because the staffs were not that big. So my father would, you know, there, there were no credit cards in those days, so he was counting the cash, he was counting the tickets. It was all ticket stock and paper tickets. So, you know, he was doing every job. I know my uncle was as well. They were kept informed. They, they were told what was going on with the team. They helped out the best they could. Uh, I believe they were still in school at that time when, when Charles passed away. I couldn't be wrong, but no, I think Bill was. So they weren't probably in a, in a management capacity, but that followed fairly quickly in the early 50s when she assigned them positions within the organization. She was truly a trailblazer as the first woman owner in the National Football League. She was one of one for decades and she did a great job. She won a championship and was also in the championship the next year in 1948. Coach Jimmy Councilman said, 
when they did play in the championship game in 1947, he did not bring up the name of Charles Bidwell. He said, the hearts are heavy as they are for the players who knew him, which was the ultimate respect to me. I think about what must have been going through her mind, you know, when she's got sons going off to school, she's taking over all these businesses, and she's grieving the loss of her husband. It must have been a tremendously tough time for her emotionally, but she stuck with it and did a great job of holding it all together as a mom, as a CEO. I think her legacy is, yeah, she was in charge when the team won the championship. She didn't let it falter or fall apart. And she was very active in making sure the players were ready and that they had what they needed. We've really celebrated the, the men in this league and their great accomplishments. I think it's time to celebrate the women. She does not get the recognition she should have. She jumped in and really became a very visible part of the management of the team. And to me, that, especially at that time, when we look back 70 years ago or so, how amazing that was for her. I was so pleased a year ago when we hosted Super Bowl 57 here in Phoenix to be able to accept an award that the Pro Football Hall of Fame gave to us and to our family, uh, recognizing the great leadership that Violet Bidwell brought to the National Football League, brought to the Cardinals. And it was great to celebrate her and, and all the great things she stood for that she did and the influence that she should be having with younger generations of women in sports and in the National Football League. Step into that role and carry on my grandfather's legacy, but also create her own legacy. It was really remarkable.